in this video we're going to be showing you how to do costing how to show the reports and how to change costing in fusion so first of all let's go and have a look at some of the reports and the way to do that is to go to view and report click on that and it's going to open up into the reports folder and this this screen here is you'll notice that at the moment it's defaulted to none you change that from none to price vat uh, quote priced inclusive vat so you click on that and it will it will show the the report for that and here is the the quotation that we that we've just made it on this and let's go next and here we have the different units that we've we've added in with the pricing you'll notice that at the moment we've got no no pricing on there so let's go in and change some of those and then we can see this this report change a bit I'm just gonna go out to the design program change our, our catalog in catalog editor so the first thing we do is go to tools catalog setup and then we find the catalog that we're working on so we go down until we find the the fusion QM catalog that's the one I was working on now and I click on the button that says check out catalog clicking on that and you'll notice that it will be checked out the way to to know that is you've got this little admin sign there under checked out by I'm gonna click OK and then what you do is you click on tools again and these are unhighlighted now these are available to choose which is launch catalog editor I'm going to choose that and click on that okay in catalog editor what you do then is you go to file and open and you choose fusion QM and it gives you units drawings DLTs and so forth what we need to do is go to into our, our DLTs and we go into door style and here what we what we can do is is choose you'll notice here each of them has a primary and a number next to it each each door has already got a a different code to it so if you wanted them to each of these doors to have a, a code and, and a different one for instance shaker raise 50 and 70 and so forth are all under primary one and will cost the same but the the ones that are, are different numbers will be uh, different costs involved so these will be under different ones it's you so you click on bevel and you go to options and you go get info get uh, catalog info you'll notice here it's got primary one let's change that to to primary make it 20 and press ok so we're gonna we're gonna put our, our costing on on the bevel on number twenty. I'm just gonna go out of this now. And go out of this one again. And now I'm gonna go into the units. So now you have to change each unit to to, to resemble that. So for instance, if I had a an F two door, press Control and Enter to find it, and there it is there. So you double click on it. To, to open it up okay it opens up into into the screen here you'll notice it doesn't have any 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 pricing tables it has a single single price but for for now I want to ch I want to change that so you double click on on that and instead of having a single price for it I'm gonna go primary so that we can we can have different options for different doors on this on this one unit okay we chose 20 as as the one that we wanted so let's let's change that to if we wanted that 500 you have to put in cents so this is cents all in cents price if you've got dollars or if you've got rands you have to put it in with your cents or 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 pennies or or so forth you you can't have a full stop or, or a comma there so I'm gonna say 50 500 rand and then I can add and price bands which is square meterage which is your your meter prices so for every X is your your length and I'm gonna go one meter and I'm gonna press OK and 
and that should should put that in there. So that's the price band that I, I've got. I'm going to make it round off to every hundred. So if, if you've got a hundred millimeters, if they've got a just one one millimeter over a meter, it will raise it up to 1.1 meter. And if you wanted it per square meter, you can add another one, which is your z axis for every meter. So it will be 500 rand per square meter of that unit. But I'm actually wanting to let's delete the the z axis. So I'm just going to make it per per meter of this this unit. So if you've got a 1.2 meter, it will will add on add on more money onto that. Okay. Arch 50. Let's make that 500. Arch 70, 500. Now it wouldn't make t it wouldn't make a difference if they were all 500. Then you would all 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 have these these door categories under number one, and you would only have the 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 different set of price in the pricing for for number two, three, and and four, and so forth. But because I'm keeping these as 500 for arch 50, 70, and 90, these can all be the same. They could all be under category seven. So I'm just going to carry on. We used a tang groove shaker, so let's go shaker. Go across. Okay, here we go. Shaker tang and groove. Let's make that 500. Actually, let make make that make difference. So I'll make it 600. I'll keep that as as is. I'll design in the different pricings that we've put in. So just for the for the F2 door, we have made it as a, a primary. And now you've got to do that for for each of the each units in your in your catalog. So let's just go from the BRC. So let's go double click on this single price. Let's change that to from uh, change that from single price to primary. And this is what you have to do for for each each design or each cupboard in the catalog if you're wanting to to price it with different categories. You can have a fixed price with that single price, or you can, as I'm doing now with the generally the different okay, floor 1D. Go into that. Change that from single price to primary. And see what the, the different price pricing has done. So I'm going to close this, close this, and close catalog editor. And now we can go back to our our fusion. Let's go back into tools and go to catalog setup. We now need to check it in so that we can get those pricings in. So scroll down and see Fusion QM. Click on admin and check it in. And now you can press OK. It will update that catalog and now we can go back into that design. So click on it and press edit. Back to the reports. Go view report. And let's change it to the the inclusive VAT price. I've got it at fourteen percent. You can change those those pricing there as well. And there we have the the pricing for the the floor two door, six hundred eighty four. Yes, we've done that that price there. That's inclusive VAT. So let's let's go down the list and look for more. If you continue to the next pages. And there's the price. Now, obviously, I've just had had like a few units that I've I've put in that that the pricing's in. So if you had all of it, you would you would have your your pricing there. And that's how to do to do pricing. You need to do your pricing for each unit. You need to have your your primary set and do all your your door styles first, and then you've got to you've got to go into each unit and and set up the categories and 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 make sure that they are all on primary. Thank you very much.